Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Elder Needs Law. I'm Jason Newfeld, your Florida elder law attorney. And of course, um, you know, I, I start off all these episodes saying I'm just an elder law attorney. I do my job very well, but there are lots of other services and resources that are out there that are related to what I do, but not what I do. So it's I've made it my mission to bring in these experts in the community to talk about um, what it is that they can do that will help you and to provide you with that very practical information. And today I am thrilled to have John Pastore with us. He is the creator of uh, Emergency Info Plan. He's at emergencyinfoplan.com. And John is on a mission to save your life or save the life of your loved ones. And he's doing this in a very practical way, in a very economical way. And I think you're going to get a lot of really practical information out of this episode. So John, thank you very much for being here. Please introduce yourself. Tell us about what you do and how you're going to save lives. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Jason. I uh, really appreciate this opportunity to share this information with people. And um, I just tell you my story quickly. And that is that uh, I was on a business trip. We had a place in New York. My wife called 911 and I wasn't notified until 40 minutes later when my neighbor called me. And sadly, she passed away that day. And just two months afterwards, I found out there was a feature on her phone that possibly could have saved her life. And I'm sharing that and other developments that we have done to help people save lives. So I'm going to share my screen and Please. I'm going to bring up a quick presentation because I think that people need to uh, understand how this can save lives. Now on here on the screen, you're gonna see two phones. One's an iPhone and one's an Android. Yeah. And what I want you to understand is, is that one minute saved in an emergency can save 10,000 lives a year according to the Heart Association. Now we have many more types of emergencies and people watching this might be, have different types of medical problems. They can think about this and how it could help them. So here's what happens. This is called medical ID and emergency SOS. Most people call 911. Instead of calling 911 the typical way, if you were to use your Apple phone to call them, by waking up the medical ID and the emergency SOS, that could be squeezing on both sides or tapping on one side. Our site will show you that. Mm -hmm. But what you did is you swiped the SOS across. You would talk to 911, hang up, and if you set it up right, your emergency contacts would be alerted with a text message telling you them you're having an emergency and telling them where you are. So I think, I think you know this and I know this, but I want to make it clear for everyone who's watching, this is not an app you have to purchase. This is not anything. This is already built in automatically to every single iPhone out there. And maybe I don't know anything about Androids, but I know my iPhone has it. Everyone's iPhone has it. And, and a lot of these Androids have it as well. There's nothing to purchase here. This is something that people can go to your website. And we're going to put that in the show notes and get instructions on how to set this up for free. There's absolutely no reason that I can think of not to do this right now today. That's that's absolutely right, Jason. Appreciate that. Okay. So when you do this, then 911 arrives. Well, if you set it up properly, you can put in your medical information so they can know about you, your conditions, medications, allergies, and they can even call your emergency contacts from your phone to find out more. That makes it more likely that they're going to pick up the phone, as you pointed out before we started recording, right? If the, if the call is coming from your phone by an emergency responder, your emergency contact is a lot more likely to pick up than, you know, some random number. That's right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And if somebody is there and comes to your aid, they could pick your phone up and they could alert 911 and emergency contacts. So there's more that can be done from this. This is okay. great stuff. So, so proud. All right. Very let's, good. Let's, let's go to the next slide. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now they are, now we, we arrive at the scene. They want your medical information on your Android phone. First, what they do is they contact, they wake the phone. There's an icon that's on the lock screen of the phone. And then they, um, and then they tap that. So they can alert 911 with a tap. They can, uh, at the same time, they can 
text nine, your emergency contacts. And as you can see here, 911 can arrive and they can view your medical ID. So it works in the same fashion as the iPhone. This is an app that we developed that's free. It's free on the website. Mm -hmm. And um, you can use that and download it and put it on all Android phones. And that's the real key because there has to be a consistent way for 911 to know how to get this information. Very good. So people are going to have immediately have access to your blood type, medications you're taking, emergency contacts. I mean, this is really important stuff that, you know, something as simple as a blood type that a lot of people, even your family may not know by heart. Uh, you know, this is information that you want to put in your phone. So that of course, an EMS responder can have access to it because if you need a transfusion, you know, we need that information as soon as possible. We can't wait to, to make these phone calls. But that's exactly right. Mm -hmm. And what we're trying to do is get the information off to the responders so they can take it to the emergency rooms. Mm -hmm. So we even tell you a really secret information to put in there, like the name of your hospital, mm -hmm. even the name of your doctor and their phone number, not sure. as an emergency contact, but so they can trace down your medical information because you're not guaranteed to be transferred yeah. to that hospital that you go to regularly. And one of the things that we counsel our clients to do when we're doing just uh, not only Medicaid planning, but estate planning, if we're putting together someone's healthcare surrogate designation, power of attorney and living will, it was just, it, you know, whoever you designate as your healthcare surrogate, that's probably one of the people you want listed as your emergency contact, because then they're going to have the right documentation to run, you know, meet you at the hospital and they can help make, help you make important medical decisions if, if that needs to be made. So that's, that's important. That's right. And had I been alerted immediately, I could have taken steps. I could have done things. But learning 40 minutes later is 40 minutes too late. Right. So how do people know about this? How they know about this is very simple, inexpensive stickers. We mm -hmm. call them the stickers that stick up for you when you can't stick up for yourself. Yeah. OK, they show show responders how to access that information on both the iPhone and on the Android phone. And then stickers that go on your home and your car, and they simply tell 911, look, look on my phone. That's where the important information is. This can make it so fast for them to get the information because 911 knows your phone number. They can give it to the people they dispatch. They can call your phone, identify your, you and that information immediately and act right away. So what we suggest people do is they visit our website, www.emergencyinfoplan.com. There's an assessment, take the assessment. It will show you how prepared you are. And actually those things that Jason is mentioning are so important about having those directives, having them accessible at a moment's notice. These are the things that you need to kind of make sure you have done. So I want to recap the assessment on going to emergencyinfoplan.com. They can take an assessment. The assessment's free. Getting a tutorial on how to set this up on your phone, setting it up, all this emergency information and important information that people, uh, third parties might need to see, also absolutely free. And then if you want to buy one of these stickers, it's, what is it, $5, $6? What it, what it is, is the stickers cost, they're sent to you, they're mailed to you, they're $7.99 one-time charge. Mm -hmm. But if you take the assessment, it's $5.99, okay? okay? So and take take so the assessment, why not? Take the assessment and uh, figure it out from that standpoint. You can go down below, you just choose your model of your phone, and you basically then order those, they're sent to you. And if you have an Android phone, you can go on there and download a free Google app for works on all Android phones. Total tutorials on here, all set up. And we help communities, schools. We can help any type of organization or even a business save mm -hmm. lives. Perfect. So, Listen, the seconds count in these emergency situations and anything we can do to get important medical information in the right hands quicker, sooner rather than later is going to save lives. And John, thank you for sharing your mission with us. Thank you for taking a personal tragedy and turning it into something that's gonna help save perhaps hundreds and thousands, if not more lives. And um, we're gonna put 
your contact information right into our show notes. People can go right to your website. They don't have to call me first. And, uh, and uh, we want to try to get as many people um, educated as to what it is that you do. And John, thank you very much for being here. Well, once again, thank you. And I think together we can save a tremendous number of lives. And one last thing, we have a white paper on the side of the website, and I would suggest people take a look at it, plus even tutorials or trainings for 911 so they know what to look for and how to do this. So the more we share this with people, the better it's going to be for everyone. That's John Pastore, www.emergencyinfoplan.com. I'm Jason Neufeld with Elder Needs Law. Thank you very much for watching.